Okay, salam alaikum. Good afternoon. I'm Hussein Kadum from, fac from Faculty of Engineering, Electrical Engineering background. Today I will talk with you about uh, how to present your uh, work, your project. Regardless if it's final year project or project related to industry or you work somewhere and you want to present a project, but more focus on final year project. I will show you the, how you go through this trip, what are the guidelines, what are the advices I can give here, which will help you definitely in your final presentation. As you know, whenever you you you, you see from my, my title here, I try to make it as simple as, my, as I can, focus more on the title of presentation, whatever your presentation, focus on the title, okay? And then the second slide, you, you expect, I'm, I'm here trying to show you what I will do through the presentation today. So I make a content list. So if audiences are there, they will know what you are going to talk about uh, through the presentation. As example, today I will talk about a project component, project life cycle, final year project presentation, why present anything at all, okay? Basic component of a presentation, project presentation guideline, tips for better presentation, quality project presentation, and sources or, uh, and references. By the way, it's fine to read from the slide of the for the content. Contents, you can read from them. But otherwise, I don't advise you to read unless you want to read for a reason. Okay, as example, quote and you want or say you want to read it to make sure that you don't add or delete anything from the say. Now, <clears throat> the first point is project components. What is a project? what to present from your project. First of all, you need to keep in mind, you didn't study, I think in the, in the past, I remember when we started Faculty of Engineering, there is a course in level four given for all engineering students, which is project management. And with revision for the programs, it, it is not effort anymore, but it tell you how to work in a project. And the project boring when there is needs, when there are needs, uh, opportunity, uncertainty, problem, project boring, and you start working in the project using, through the project, using many components, many approaches, method techniques, and so, until you reach the final steps. In the final steps, you need to present your work. And presenting your work is so, supposed to have purpose, okay? And uh, as example, one of the purpose for presenting your project is pitch the project. You want to show the project to the people. Summarize the project. Your line manager or your supervisor ask you to summarize the project. And by the way, it doesn't mean that you have one presentation. You may have more than one presentation in project. As example, it could be weekly, it could be monthly, it could be, as example, in final year project, we have two presentation, one between two semesters and after the semester one, and the second after semester two at the end, okay? Or report, report the outcomes from time to time. You, you meet your group team, team members, you meet your, let me say, supervisor, and then you will uh, present your work, summarize it. Now, as I mentioned, the life cycle of the project starts when there is a problem, there is a opportunity, uncertainty, project born or initiated, and then you do planning for the project. Okay, what we call, there is a say, plan the work and then work the plan. You put your plan, okay? Plan contains schedule, contain details, how you are going to go through the project. And then you execute it. If it is theoretical, if it is simulation, if it is a practical, if it is mix of these, and then you close up. In the close up, you expect to have the main or the uh, final presentation to present your achievements. <clears throat> it will build. You start small, step by step, until you reach the final. I start working as academic staff in 1995. It's, it's fine to, to, to tell you in my presentation some stories. So I supervise many students, not less than 250 engineers graduated. I supervise them in many, <clears throat> in my 27 years working in academia, okay? And the general attitude here for final year project is to have a presentation between the two semesters and one at the end of the project. And usually I can, I can say from observation that students in the interim, which is the presentation between the two semesters, 
express his self, his skills, his knowledge, his information better than the others, it will keep the same attitude until the end and he come up with the highest grade, which is four at the end. So you need you need to uh, show your, uh, let me say, achievements, show your experience, skills to the examiners. Exam you need to attract the examiners. Why present anything at all? There is a say, gaining knowledge is the first step to wisdom. But sharing it is the first step to humanity. You may have information, but how you show this information to others, this is the, the point. Why present anything still with the same point? We, we present things because we want to share with others. And if we share with others, we ask them for feedback. Sometimes you ask for feedback. Sometimes you want to highlight your uh, your achievement or the most important, let me say, results to your line manager or to your group. And also at the same time, you want to market your 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 work. You you want to show people the 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 your results. How important are these results? And it's worth to mention that I know you are engineering background, and you look for science. And if you go to define science and art, OK, you will you will find many definitions, but I will focus on three here and three here for science. I will read. I will read from the slide knowledge or a system of knowledge covering general truths or the operation of general law, especially as obtained and tested through scientific methods. And this is what you are. Let me say professional and do it. You are doing experimental work. You are doing simulation. Theoretical, let me say, calculation, your work, science. But you need to artist this science at the end to show people. So you need to have some part of art. Presentation came here, OK? I will read from the quote here. Art, number three, point number three, and occupation requiring knowledge or skills. You want to use skills. You want to use your experience in expressing yourself, your idea, your information to others. So the part related to art coming in your part, which is engineering, I mean related to science, is how you present your work. <coughs> so it's two parts, the scientific aspect and the art aspect, which is represented in the presentation. You need to keep in mind that the basic component of your presentation supposed to be in this range introduction 10 to 15 percent try to reduce as much as you can let me say 10 percent the body the work as example focus on your research methodology on your uh, experimental setup on your results their discussion their analysis 70 percent and concluding 10 percent now you see, more focus on your work. Focus on your work. Don't focus. Some money students, when they come to the presentation, they focus on the uh, introduction, on the theoretical part. OK, they, they waste their time to express what they are doing in the lab, what they are doing in the simulation. Rather than they focus on this point, they went to focus on theoretical part, which is available in, in the websites, in the books, in the papers and so on. No, focus on your work. Tell people what you did, OK? Yeah, you, you, you need, definitely, you need to build the basis of the topic before you start talking about your results, your work, what you did in the lab, what you did in the simulation through the whole year, the two semester. But more focus supposed to be about your results, your work, what you learn, and also try to concentrate at the end on the main achievements, main conclusions, what you advise people coming after you to, to take over and continue with your research. Now, uh, still with the basic uh, uh, components of presentation, you need to put in the first slide the title, as you know, and the name of the group, if their supervisor, mention to the supervisor, OK? And then, um, Make it as simple as you can, OK? So because the people need to know what is your title. Title uh, is important to select your title carefully. 
because it's it's supposed to give a, a general idea about the project. It's supposed to be revised many times, okay, to make sure that there are no mistakes. It's not misleading people. There is nothing included in the title which is not covered in the project. And then the content, okay. You started here at the green area, okay. It's it's a strip at the end. It's a story, okay. You go through this story in a zigzag way until you reach the final, uh, let me say, destination. And uh, you need to make it as a plan. I, I mentioned plan the work and then work the plan. Make it as a plan at the beginning. You improve the plan from time to time. And within the body, okay, you will have, you will deliver main topic, deliver your argument, deliver facts, cover more ground, tell a story, okay? Definitely you will face some stories, okay? I mean, nobody, nobody did the project and completed his project without stories. Definitely you will have stories. As example, when I uh, I did one project, okay, I, I wrote a code long time back, okay, and I spent maybe two, three months, I can't run the project until one of my colleagues helped me check and he find that the first line I have mistake, comma, it becomes semicolon. Just I change it, done. The results come out. I remember this story. You have a story in the lab with your colleagues. You attended the lab and something wrong went in the experiment. Tell these stories in their presentation. Let uh, Try to attract people. Share with them your experience. And conclusion, which is the final, as I, as I mentioned at the end of the... Uh, make, summarize the topic, conclude remarks, the important points, and land carefully, okay? L look. It's, as I mentioned, it's like a trip. You take off, you be in the sky, and then landing. Don't let people feel that there is some gaps here and here, okay? Take them smooth into you back to the end. Let them feel that it's a story. It's full story. I mean, imagine you are watching a movie, okay? It's talking about the, the, the nature and the Stone Age, as example. And suddenly, mobile phone. Come, somebody went to the movie having mobile phone. Oh, something wrong. We are talking about Stone Age. How how would come there is mobile phone at that time? There is no. So this is gap. You need to make sure that it's smooth going through the project. Um, resources. Uh, uh, whatever you write, okay, taking from other, cited. And cite it carefully. There are many ways to cite your your uh, let me say uh, work. Okay, there is references. There are many style. I triple E APA. Uh, if you go to to Google Scholar, you will find there are many styles. If you are using specific software to write the the citation, you go ahead. Uh, as example, uh, you I am using Mendeley. Uh, you can use any other other type of uh, let me say softwares to cite your work, but it is good to cite your work. This gives you credit for your work because you, 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 you are taking from well-known, let me say, references. Avoid to taking from Wikipedia or personal websites because it's not, I mean, um, I mean, it's up to the, to, to the owner of that website, so we cannot depend on them. Try to take from well-recognized resources, as example, from published book in international publishers or from some international publisher like uh, journals, as example, uh, Elsevier, Springer, Nature, uh, MDPI, EDP Science and other websites, other publishers, sorry. Copyright, you need to make sure you don't, uh, let me say, uh, violate the copyrights of other people and uh, be grateful for people and even if you if you judge or uh, discuss other people work make sure you respect them you discuss them in respected way okay this is give uh, i mean uh, good impression and positive impression about your presentation your your skills now before you came to the presentation my advice to you is you know your topic okay you need to know the audience, who will attend, and when well, the venue, where you are going to take them. Okay. Usually, when I give a presentation, I need to know 
to whom I will talk. Recently, I, I've been asked to give a presentation about renewable energy for school students. First of all, they told me, okay, give it in Arabic. So I know what language. I asked them, which level I will talk with? They told me, talk with level grade, let me say 12, 11, and 10. Great. Inside Oman, outside, inside Oman. Great. How much time given to me? Where I'm gonna give this presentation? Okay, how many will attend and so on? I need to ask about this to prepare myself. So you need to prepare yourself. Okay. Still with the project presentation guidelines. Okay. This is, let me say, general, general tips about the presentation. Look, my advice to you, in whatever you are doing in your life, plan it. If you want to go to a restaurant today to have dinner, plan it. Where to go, with whom I go, how much I will spend, what I will have, and so on. So this is take it in anything you are doing. Now for a presentation, we can make, as example, introduction. By the way, it doesn't matter to have later subsection. These are the main sections. Introduction. Before this, you may you may say something about the problem statement. What is the problem? What is the driven questions for your project? You can say something about the methodology. How you are going? What is are the, what are the what is the methodology you are going to adopt to execute the project or your objectives? Okay, results and discussion, your results, maybe between them there is experimental setup or simulation or something, and the conclusion and then future work or recommendation. Avoid having text. Always try to attract people by giving them photo, graph, table, equation. Avoid text. T tip, let me say, text, make it as a tips. Okay, let people see this, the title, and you express what you want to talk about. Okay. Use positive language. As example, you are an engineer, expect from you to, to, to say something, design, achieve, facilitate, define, modify. Positive language is important, okay, in your presentation. It's took to the time. It's not open time. I mean, always ask about the time given to you. If they told you, as example, 15 minutes, uh, try a practice with your group before you come and make sure you finish within the 15 minutes. If you are given 15 minutes, you finish in five minutes, this is not good. If you finish in 20 minutes, this is also not good. Make sure you are close to the 15 minutes. And this is done by, uh, let me say, practicing, okay? Show your presentation to your supervisor. It's good to consult him. Make sure to, to have an idea about how many slides you are going to include in your presentation. I mean, exa example, if, if you have 15 minutes and you will show 150 slides, how it come? How you are going to show them? This is, I mean, I mean, you need to to make sure that you stick with the time, with the number of slides. <clears throat> Use many information. You have many information in your thesis, in the, your project at the end. So use figures from your thesis, photos, table, quotes, and make a variety. Diversity is good in your presentation. It will attract people. A picture, as, as I always say, a picture is worth thousands, a thousands, th let me say words. It's better to show pictures than to show words or text. Colors is good to have colors. I mean, you can compare between the two graphs. This is without gray, and this is here with colors. People, uh, more they more enjoy with colors, but don't go extreme. I mean, some of them, when you look to the slide, you it's uh, look like uh, he have many colors in one slide okay the lines are one green one red one blue i mean this is not uh, it's like getting makeup and throw it in your face i mean it's not good uh, copyright resources acknowledgement uh, acknowledge people who help you is uh, showing your uh, let me say your attitude as a good engineer as a good person as a, hum a good human being because you acknowledge people, uh, support you, people, they give you help, technicians, they support you, your colleagues, your family, this is a credit for you. You, you need to expect uh, any technical uh, problem could happen, especially today. Today we are talking about, um, uh, let me say, uh, working online, okay? 
if you are giving a presentation, you, you need to consider that uh, technical problem could occur. As example, don't give a presentation while you are sitting in a car and using your mobile phone. Don't sit in the hall with your family Okay, they are watching TV and you have the, your laptop and giving a presentation. No, try to, to sit in a separate place. You are sure that it is stable. Nobody will disturb you. Internet is good. Okay, your laptop is ready. Not at, the, at one moment it's shut down because there is no charge. No, you prepare yourself. And if something happened, as example, you are presenting from your slides and the slides gone. Imagine this happened. What's, what is your solution? OK, you need to prepare yourself as example, say, OK, I have problem in the slides. I will continue and to continue. You need to make sure that what you are going to say next to be received by them will be accredited for you. I mean, will be expect accepted by, by the, the examiner or the audience. Do not use words you cannot read or uh, words you don't understand or you cannot explain. I mean, you will. I mean, you will come up at the end with 50, 60, or 80. Let me say, pages in your thesis. People are going to ask you about any words, any line in your thesis. I, I will give you a story. I remember maybe 15, 16 years back, we was in in building B. Engineering was there before this new campus came, and uh, I was examiner with my one of my colleagues, and we attended with the supervisor, four students in front of us. They give their presentation, and they sit for discussion for Viva and my colleague, the examiner, he started with them. And by the way, I have a lot of stories, many stories. So usually uh, I give the stories because we want our students to learn from these stories. So what happened is my my colleague, the examiner, he asked them, OK, open your thesis, go to page number one. They want to page number one, read line number one. They one of you as example, he told one of the students read line number one. He say something uh, uh, as uh, explained by Webster. He say, OK, who's Webster? OK, this is clearly at the end. OK, or Oxford, let me say. The student, uh, he didn't expect this question. He worked technically, he worked with simulation, experimental. He didn't expect somebody to ask him about Webster. He say, OK, he's a person. The examiner smile. OK. What happened is the next student, what about you? He asked him, he say, OK, Webster, it's a company. He smile more. Imagine he repeat the same question for, for these four students. They couldn't answer. OK, he went to the next question. They stuck in the first question. They are they, they went from the room with their mind in somewhere else with the first question, which is Webster. Who is Webster? Whatever he came in the, the next 15 minutes, whatever he asked them, they are not in the mood. They are not with him. They forget everything done within the year because of this question. Because of what they added in their thesis and they don't know about it. So expect it from people. I find difficulty in taking them back to the mode, OK, later when I start asking. So this is my advice to you. Don't try it. Don't try it in your thesis, in your presentation. Word, the audience could ask you about them and you don't you don't have ability to answer. Try to write simple words. My presentation could consist, as I mentioned, introduction, problem. You see, you have title. You come to talk with the audience about the theoretical or the basis of your uh, work, and then you tell them there is a problem. This is called problem statement. The problem is this. And from you, the problem, OK, you raise some questions. You come to the objectives. OK, based on this problem, my objective, I mean, my work will be one, two, three, short, precise, Consistent, OK, let me say point three, four points maximum for objectives. And then you move to the research methodology. You will say, OK, these are my pro pro objectives. How can I execute them? How can I implement them? Talk about the method which you will use to meet your objectives. And after that, OK, you go to the material, uh, definitely literature survey and theoretically later on you can ex expand it, OK? Focus more on your results. OK, use whatever you learn through the four years 
last four years to find more results, to discuss these results, to link between these results, to compare your results, to validate your results, and so on. Gun charts is, is, is important for you because, as I mentioned, plan the work and then work the plan. You put the, put the plan. To put the plan, you need to know what you are going to do in this frame of time. Definitely, you will update them from time to time. It could be weekly, it could be monthly, seasonal, and so on. And conclude your work. Really, I mean, try to practice. As I will always say, practice before you come. Don't make your first try in front of the examiners or in front of audience. While you are sitting in your room in front of a mirror, try to talk. See your your way of expressing things. I mean, how you 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 try to reach to the point. How you explain the ideas and the things you are doing. Pay attention to body language. Body language is important. You see, I'm sitting here, not in front. If I'm in, in, on a theater, you will say different, Hussein. But now I'm sitting in my office talking to you. I don't see you. I don't know who is in front of me. But I'm still using my hand, my body, moving here and here to, to attract you. Imagine I'm working in this way. Or I, work, I, I talk in this way. Tips for... Better presentation, it will be boring. So use body language. Smile, okay? Don't let people feel when you smile. I mean, it's like influence. It's spread, it's taking from you to the audience. They enjoy when you, but while, while you are talking like this, or you, you let them feel that you are boring, you are feeling boring, and you are not happy, you are not in the mood. This is, uh, will also transfer to the, audience or to the examiner, which is not good for you. Incorporate your personality, definitely. There is inside you a person. You have the skills, you have a way to attract. Remember, always you attract some people to you, either friends, family, how you attract them. Use these skills to attract people in the presentation. Take pause, don't talk continuously, okay? Try to, to have some time to, to stop, Okay, so people, they, they breathe, you breathe. As example, I will drink water here, okay, to continue. Eye contact. Don't feel shy looking. I remember sometime we, we in, the, in the first try for our students when they present their work, the audience here, and they look on this side. They don't look to the audience. They look to the slide because they, are, they feel shy or afraid to, to talk face to face with the, especially their professors, their lecturer, uh, which is not good. Practice. Tonality, I mean, uh, your sound need to be rise sometime, low sometime, in the middle sometime, slow, fast, play with the sound, and this way you, you will attract people. Try it. Here I will show some slides for some presentation I gave, I gave after projects. I have, as example, me or somebody else. I, as example, Majis advisory project. This is a project I executed in 2019, I think. I think, yeah, 19. 19. It is 1.3 megawatt grid connected solar power. Um, it's a grant with 1 million uh, Omani Real project. And uh, the first slide, you see how simple is the first slide? Title, my name, from where I came. And the content, I put here my idea, as you can see, what I will talk about. Another example, final year presentation. Some of my students, this is to back, back to 2015-16, they make their presentation. This is the title, the, the Sahara University, their names, supervise, supervise, and then they put the presentation outline, the second slide, what you want to talk about. As example, if you have website or uh, YouTube channel or also presented in a good way. As example, this is my, my research gate, let me say, uh, website page. I try to, to uh, let me say, plan it very well, to write something about me, to update it from time to time, uh, to talk about what I'm doing. 
this is a presentation for one of my colleagues, Martin Elder in, in, in UK. In 2018, I did this in 2018, and he's talking about something related to the policy. Okay. This is the title, the logo of his company, let me say, or the organization he's dealing with, his name from where. Okay. One point I I I, I can may, may raise here is the, the blue line. It's, it's talking. It's a photo he put as a background. I mean, with these colors, maybe it's. Uh, I mean, not good for the eye. So try to make sure when you prepare your slides, somebody have a look at them and uh, uh, criticize them to see if the colors are good, if uh, uh, are I mean fit with each other or not. Now, what the quality of a project presentation, okay? Uh, I can say effective utilization of a space. Okay, if Steve Jobs, you see behind him only three words. Okay, people saw the three words from the first time it's appear on the screen. And the remaining time, they follow him. They will focus on him, on his movement, on his body language, and what he's going to talk, what he's going to say. Imagine the opposite. He's in the side and the slide contain many texts and information. It would be boring. Reduce the words. Number of words. There is, there is I remember, rule say seven times seven rule. Uh, when I finish, when I finish, OK, I will receive your questions. Just let me finish, OK, Ali. Um, Seven times seven rule, what it say? It say in each slide, you're supposed not to put more than seven lines. Each, each line should not have more than seven words. This is just as a guideline. However, some people go behind this or reduce the words. Talk to people. And also the font size. And sometime in the slide, we, we can see that if this is seven lines, each line written with different font type, different font size, different color. This is not good. Okay, try to be consistent. This is Simon Sink. He's a, a YouTuber. Okay, and you see, focused on key phrases. What he put here in his slide? Why? How? What? Three words. He gonna talk a lot, but three words. Also, see effective eye contact. See to look to his eye. He showed one word here as example. He used the body language to, 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 to say this is the word I will talk about why. And he is facing the audience. He's looking to their eye and definitely it will, it's like a magnet. It will attract them. They will look to his eye. They look to his body language. Tonality as again, as I mentioned, I mean, play with your sound to attract people. Try to influence them. Try to attract their emotion. Make it simple, simplicity. Alan Musk, okay, in his presentation, simplicity. You don't need to to let me say uh, put background to your slide. A lot of backgrounds. Make them as simple as you can. Make your presentation as simple as you can. Focus on the point you are working on. And again, body language is important. Focus on logos. Logos. I'm talking about here. Logic. The uh, uh, let me say uh, the knowledge in your in your work. With ethos, I'm talking about here your uh, capability or your skills, your experience, how you attract and pathos. I'm talking about here the emotional of the uh, the audience, how you can use your experience, your skills, your, uh, let me say, uh, character, OK, your uh, abilities to express the information, the logic, the, the science, the engineer part, aspects, technical, economic, to attract their emotion so they can follow and understand what you want to talk about. And you need to summarize at the end. Conclusion will summarize everything with the future work recommendation. Understand the presentation requirements. Organize, I'm reading from the slide, the information, mind maps, content. I mean, prepare the audience for the conclusion. As example, say at the end of this, it's like saying at the end of the journey. At the end of this project, this project conducted blah, 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 blah. OK, just a few words, a few lines, and then it went through simulation or experimental or mix. 
and they conclude the results verified and then con compared and then we conclude with one, two, three, four. Write the most important achievements you come up with. Resources you need to write resources. It's good to write resources. OK, sometimes you, you some people they write three, four pages and they took them from the resources and just at the end of the three, four pages, they write reference number one. This is not good. You talk from many references, right? Cite them. This is good. Don't expect that this is not good. This is good to write them and avoid to write as example paragraph and you say from reference one to reference seven, how it come. OK, don't mix references together or put a group of references together. And write them in the correct way, the right style. You need to know the style and write them in the right style. As you can see here, I'm writing here the references I talk in my presentation because I talk from different places. And this is the end of my presentation. I put here my information just in case you want to ask later on or you want to follow me on the websites I'm dealing with and uh, my YouTube channel. Now I finish my presentation. The remaining time is for your questions. Please feel free to ask.